My name is Rami Esam and I'm a musician, I'm an independent musician. I'm Egyptian. I'm from Mansoura city. In the beginning of my life, I, I didn't know that one day I would be a musician. I, I just started to play football. I, that was my passion, that was my dream. And I stayed playing football for till 20 years. And in the last two, three years, I started to be like a professional football player and I joined like real clubs. But when I was 17, I started to play guitar. I was always fall in love when, with this sound that, yeah, it's so cool if one day I could play it. From the first moment I started to hold the guitar and play, I felt something attracting me towards this thing, like more than football. And between 17 and 20, uh, I found that I gave the football a lot, a lot of love, but football didn't give me back the same that how the music is treating me. I didn't give the music like um, most of my attention like football, but, but in the end, I found that music really loved me more. Then I found myself like just choosing music. And when I was 20, that, and I met uh, my favorite poet, Amgad Lahwagi in Mansoura. And um, it was the first time to show me like really good lyrics with a good message. It's social songs, political songs and revolutionary songs. And from that day, I started to feel that, yeah, I, I can be a singer. I can sing these things. These things can help me, can help people also. From that day, I started to decide that, yes, I'm a musician. I will, this will be my dream. This will be my life. I will fight everything to reach that. When the revolution came, everything started to change like a magic. And from the first moment, I saw the police starting to attack the people and to shooting us with tear gases and with rubber bullets. And, and some, some people started to be injured. And it was like a historical moment for me. It was my first fight with, in the struggle. E even in the beginning, the people didn't know that we will take Mubarak down. The people were just going for ask for like um, quite more freedom, like um, um, like uh, good salaries for people, and uh, like to to clean out the the police, the corruption of the police. It's, it was like very small demands, but during the day and in the, this vibe, in this magical spirit happening, we started to say down down Mubarak. When I was on the stage singing, the people just from the first moment they started to to sing with me. And we were like 100,000 in that day. And even they are not like a normal audience. They are protesters, freedom fighters, like in a revolution, asking for their freedom and their rights as humans. So that was uh, the best moment in my life. What, what inspired me is, first is music, especially rock music. Rock music is, the best thing that can describe me. After my father died, I, I lived a lot in the streets. Until now, I like the life in the street. It's the best school. The struggle inspired me a lot. My family, the friendships. What drives me to positive change? My belief in the freedom for everyone and the equality. That's why I'm fighting. Music is the strongest peaceful weapon in the world. And why I'm doing that? Because I want to reach freedom and equality and justice for everyone. The most thing giving me hope always is my memories with my friends who became martyrs, who died in the struggle. And um, how I remember their last words for us just remembering how they sacrificed for the struggle is the biggest motivation ever for me and how I still have hope by just remembering their faces, their smiles, and how they were so happy and comfortable about leaving us because they just believe in what we're doing. I could dream the same dreams for everyone who need that. And the biggest dream ever for me that I want one day to 
be calm and to have the chance to stop fighting, to feel peace for everyone. I hope one day we could reach that in the whole world. Yeah, that's it. You know, the, the sound of, of the sea and the trees, like with this song, it's, it's a huge contrast, you know? Like, <laughs> this song, I, I always used to sing it in Tahrir Square in, in the revolution. And now I'm, I'm sitting here in a very quiet, peaceful island in Finland and singing it. Like, this life is so strange. Like, one day I will be back and I will sing it there. So this is the point. And uh, I hope that uh, the sea can carry this sound and send it everywhere. Yeah, it could work.